Hey, Bruce Naylor here, The Frugal Tech. This is an unboxing video I've been wanting to do for a really long time. And this is the Sony FDR AX100 4K Prosumer Camcorder. And this has been out on the market for the last three plus years. And so I want to explain why I bought it now and so forth and the condition of the box. So this is a Best Buy open box purchase. And I was able to save about 25% off the purchase price of a brand new unit, which sells for $13.98. So I got it for around $1,000. And even though this is about three or four years old, it still has a lot of features that's going to work really, really well for my YouTube channel. The successor is the AX700, but it's quite a bit more money and has features I'll probably never use. So for me, this is an ideal purchase and quite an upgrade from my Sony AX53 that I'm recording this video on right now. So this is the box uh, as it came. It was in a larger box, but uh, we're going to go ahead and open it. It does look a little bit rough. It was said to be in excellent condition. Not so sure by looking at the uh, condition of the box, but we're going to go ahead and uh, cut the tape here and open it up in just a second. But before we do that, we'll probably go through just a quick list of the features of the camera. Boy, and they've really got the tape. Really have the tape on this thing. They really got the packing tape on this pretty doggone good. Okay, but let's go ahead and look at some of the features that do come on this camera. Okay, so this camera comes with Wi-Fi. NFC has Carl Zeiss Optics, the Bions X processor. It also has the XMOR C or XMOR CMOS sensor, triluminous color. Uh, of course, it supports play memories for remote control and so forth on your phone or tablet. 4K, of course. Of course, in 1080p as well as 4K. Supports SDXE cards, has your multi interface shoe. XAVCS codec, which is a fantastic codec for recording video. Of course, it supports AVCHD. Dolby 5.1 surround sound, but that only is in the AVCHD mode. Supports HDMI. We also have a 20 megapixel sensor, and it's a one inch sensor, and that's very important because that will give you some shallow depth of field. 18 times uh, zoom in 4K, 24 times in HD. Now that is clear image zoom, so that is a form of digital zoom on here. 29 millimeter wide angle lens, MP4 dual video recording. So it packs a lot of features for the price. So let's go ahead and open this up and we can talk about some of the other reasons that I purchased this camera. So this is the moment of truth. And hopefully, Things will be included that we need to operate this camera. Of course, we're presented with a on the box here. Now we'll turn it around. There we go. And first thing we have is a remote, which is an IR remote, so it's not going to do me a lot of good is this needs to be pointing towards the front of the camera. Of course, we have the power adapter and power cord. We have some documentation. We have the manual on how to use the camera. As well as a list of accessories that you can get for the camera as well. Here we have a USB cable, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. We also have HDMI to uh, mini HDMI cable that comes with the camcorder. What we don't see, ah, of course, and also it has a battery. Now these batteries will get you somewhere between an hour, hour and a half or so of recording time. So we do have the Canon battery, and or did I say Canon? <laughs> I meant a Sony battery. So we have this Sony battery here, and then I've also got some large capacity uh, batteries from Wasabi as well. And finally, the star of the show, 
the camera itself. We'll go ahead and get the box out of the way. Boom. And there it is. This is the Sony AX100 camera. Now, to point out another one of the features and reasons that I bought this camera is unlike the AX53, this camera supports full manual control over the aperture, the ISO, and the shutter speed, which on the AX53, AX33, uh, you can control one, but the other, everything else is in auto mode. Here you have a manual control uh, jog dial. You can set the zoom ring on the front here. can function as either zoom or focus. And of course you have a headphone jack built in, your HDMI connector, a AF and manual focus button on here. And then you have a touch screen on the camera. Coming to the side, you have your power button. This will turn the display off and on. Set your white balance, night shot, or if you want to put it in full auto mode, you can just uh, tap this program A and E button. On the side, your SD card slot reader right here. And then you can also activate the camera by either opening the flip screen, or you can pull out this uh, electronic viewfinder right here, which has a proximity sensor built in. So as you get near with your eye, it'll flip on. Another cool feature is the built-in ND filters, which are like sunglasses for your camera. You can either um, use those filters manually or in automatic mode. And press this button to record. There's a button right here to put, allow you to take photographs or record a movie. Here's your NFC contact point. Over here we have your microphone input jack, and then we have a for a what they call a multimedia inter or I'm sorry, what they uh, basically a micro USB connection right on here. Another good thing about this camera is it has a focus magnifier. The camera also comes with a built-in USB cable. We can pull this out, and then you can connect it for charging and so forth, like so. So it allows you to have full manual control of the camera. You've got a nice one inch sensor on here. Aperture runs, I believe, 2.8 to about 4.5 on here. So it's not a constant aperture. So the more you zoom out, the less, or the smaller the aperture becomes on here. Also features a rocker switch for zooming in and out, photo button, and then Sony's proprietary hot shoe adapter on here. That way you can use their microphones, etc. You can actually get an adapter to put down in here to use your own microphone. You also have a built-in microphone up front here that you can use to capture um, surround sound or stereo if you're recording in 4K. And of course, on the front, we have that beautiful Zeiss lens, and we can see they've already installed the uh, lens hood right on this uh, camcorder. Weighs a little under two pounds, of course, by the time you add a battery, and we're gonna go ahead and put a battery on it. Hopefully there's some juice on there. So now we're going to see if it powers up. Okay, the battery's connected. Let's see if she'll flip on, and there she goes. So a 29 millimeter aperture is not the widest aperture. This is, you know, obviously not really for vlogging per se, but for the kind of things that I'm going to be using it for, I think it's going to do a really, really nice, nice, nice job. Right now it's pretty much running in uh, almost full auto mode. Apparently it's in shutter priority mode. We'll go ahead and just pop it into, uh, we're going to pop this into program A&E. And now it's in full uh, auto right there. But I think it's going to take beautiful video, and I think it's going to do us a great job. It's, it's just a camera I've been looking forward to getting for a long, long time. So that's it. I just wanted to share this with you in this video. This is our new camera that we're going to be using to create YouTube videos from now on. And uh, we hope to get some really good use out of it. Even though it's 4K at 30p, um, no big deal. We're not really looking to do 4K videos in 60, uh, 60 frames per second. We're going to, or I should say it's 4K in 30 frames per second. We, we're not doing 4K in 60 frames per second. Not necessary for what the kind of videos I make. Just super excited to show this to you. It's a camera I've been waiting for a long time. And if you can find these on sale, 
there's still a incredible value for a prosumer camera because you want features like manual control over your exposure, your iris and shutter speed. If you're looking to do prosumer type work with your camcorder, Bruce Naylor, Frugal Tech. Thanks for watching.